Hi guys, Colin here again with Print Your Mind 3D and today I want to talk to you about wood fill filament. What it is and our tips and tricks on how to work with it. So wood fill is essentially PLA plastic mixed with wood fibers. So it's somewhere between 10 and 30% wood fibers mixed with PLA filament. So you're not actually printing with pure wood, you're still, it's still a thermal plastic, but you can get the aesthetic of a finished product that looks just like wood. So one of the nice things, you can actually sand and stain a finished print to look just like a wood product. And you can also adjust your temperatures a little bit hotter and a little bit cooler to get different variations of colors on the wood. When it comes to bed preparation, you're gonna use essentially the same format as what you use for printing with PLA. So if you're using something like the Lulzbot, you wanna print directly onto a nice clean PEI sheet, or if you're printing with an Ultimaker or anything that uses glass, you wanna use a glue stick or hairspray. Again, whatever your method that works best for printing with PLA is what you're gonna use for wood fill. So we recommend using a 0.5 millimeter nozzle or larger when you're printing with wood fill. So on the Lulzbot, the stock tool head has a 0.5 millimeter nozzle. And if you're printing on an Ultimaker, you wanna use a 0.8 millimeter AA print core. So you wouldn't actually need to use anything like the CC Red, which is specifically for abrasive materials. You can just use standard brass nozzles. You just wanna have a larger nozzle because smaller ones will actually have material build up and potentially lead to clogs. So again, just make sure you're working with a standard brass nozzle, which is 0.5 millimeters or larger. When it comes to print settings for wood fill, we recommend printing between 190 and 210 degrees Celsius for your nozzle and about 50 to 60 degrees for your bed. So you wanna print a little bit cooler than what you print with regular PLA by about five to 10 degrees. The other thing is you really wanna make sure you have your cooling fan on just like you do with regular PLA. One of the nice things about wood fill is it actually hides layer lines very well. So both of these models were printed at 0.2 millimeters per layer. And as you can see, there's actually very few visible lines on the model itself. So for the best results, we recommend printing between 0.2 and 0.3 millimeters per layer. And we actually found at layer heights smaller than that, it actually gives worse results. So we recommend printing again between 0.2 and 0.3 millimeters per layer. So there you have it. Those are our tips and tricks and everything you need to know to be successful 3D printing with wood fill filament. It's actually a really fun material that's very easy to work with. If you're looking to pick up some of your own, head over to printyourmind3d.ca and thank you guys for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for our next video. Bye for now.